Awesome. This is like it's 2009 right now. Oh, Mecha Mech. Yeah, he's actually running Mecha Mech. That's a little surprising. Because uh, he normally plays F Mech too. F Mech and uh, I think C Mech as well. Yeah. H Mech is a little bit of a tragic character. Well, C Mech in this game is as well. Yeah. Um, so Necro Mech, uh, two Joe characters combined, and uh, she's actually pretty good. So yeah, that super right there is a huge part of the reason why this is a decent character. Um, if you jump, she gets a guaranteed air grab. If you shield, uh, shields are great, but they are throwable. Um, so you can't be thrown out of it. So you just have to sit there and block, and then she gets to mix it up for free. Yeah, in general, shielding projectiles in this game is a really bad idea. Correct. Uh, yeah, shielding multi-hitting moves is pretty dangerous in multi. Um, wow. Wow. That was pretty good, actually. LK gets blown up. She's playing really well. And LK playing H. Kohaku, who was, uh, in terms of being a grappler, probably the best grappler in the game. Which is kind of funny. Which is funny because there are two dedicated grapplers, and Koma is a bit of a tragic character, and uh, Slotsky is really just a good mixed rush down to the But H. Uh, that was a regular grab, not her command grab. Of her command grab, we'll get uh, easily 4.5k in my day, an insane amount of damage. Uh, she has very strong step there as well. And she also has really good normals too, which is just yes. Kohaku, yes. one of her combining features is an amazing normal. You can see how she is up there. And Neko Mech, uh, as you probably can see, she can hit the cat. Yeah, and the cat becomes an active hitbox. The cat is a hitbox. So uh, you're going to want a silly stuff going on. Um, but only certain normals activate the cat. Correct, so you can see her 2B kind of scooting the cat out of the way. Uh, and she has great set play with her. Uh, yeah, right here, after respect, he's getting the bomb out of the out of the picture. And there's very little downtime on the cat. Sometimes, like if the other person hits it, it'll just disappear for a few seconds. But it's kind of random. It is. Um, oh, with the bomb? No, with the cat. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, temperamental. That goes temperamental. I love the walk-in. Yeah, this is this is almost no way. Yeah, six LK. seconds. No way. Yeah. Uh, going into heat for non full moon characters does stop the timer, but we're not playing a half moon character, they automatically go into heat. Yeah, you kind of like your. It. It's not an overdrive mode, it's not really that. It just uh, powers you up, gives you access to your super, which is uh, called an arc drive. Well, game. the blood heat arc drive. So. Yeah, yeah, slightly different. And uh, it, it gets it, really confusing sometimes. This game has an insane amount of system mechanics, it gets very complicated very quickly. And, because uh, it's C, what, if you have more than 100 meters, you can go into heat at any time. Correct, which is the first, it's an invincible frame one, that's actually unblockable. Uh, so very good reversal option. Oh, and we have the Lord Ike man. Oh, he's playing Hime here, I'm not sure how well this is going to go. I'm going to say that he's going to win. He was warming up his teammate earlier, uh, kind of casual sets. Okay. Neko does have normal, or uh, Necromek does have normals that can sort of test, but uh, it's really difficult. Those are really good against her. Uh, you can see there's a guard meter during the white bar, and he made a uh, pretty good guard crush string. Yeah. Maybe LK just thinking he wants nothing to do with like dealing with this character in neutral, and he's just gonna out zone. Yeah, it looks like he maybe uh, maybe don't have familiar LK has been playing for a long time, but maybe it's just been a very long time since he's wanted Neko Mech. I'm not sure if there was one up there. And, and Kohaku is also the character where if you kind of get a little rusty, it's a problem because her execution. Is it's true. Difficult. She is a very high execution character for sure. Like, once you get all that execution down, she's actually rather easy to play. It's just you have to have you have your to combos have, uh, on point. You have to know, and that can be frustrating, especially for a player of this caliber. But Shea actually looks kind of confused right now. Uh, Shea looking a little helpless. He's smiling. Melty uh, Bud. Uh, a great game, but Hime is a problem. As you can see, Butterfree, uh, there are ways to beat her. Uh, most of them involve set play. <laughs> Uh, but you have to getting, win. Yeah, getting him on the ground and just keeping her. You have to win neutral nice. first. And Shay actually, so yeah, using that super right there, they are basically completely forced to block. Um, jumping is dangerous. So, uh, using the super is like your freeway. Uh, that's also an invincible reversal. Which is very nice. And yeah, against teammate, against teammate, excuse me, I was a super shot. Against teammate, every hit counts. She does have a low life total, thank God. But uh, you really have to. Oh, that's a huge gimmick. That's unsafe. Uh, you have to make sure every time you touch the opponent, you're going into set play. You have to sacrifice some damage for Oki, because you do not want to go back full screen against this character. Or a situation like this, which is so difficult. 
these guard meters getting low. Here's your chance. Yeah, try yeah. to kind of do the, the whiff overhead low. Or the whiff jumps too low. Oh, and that's trying to roll there. Yeah, and that's it. 1-1. One, one. Uh, um, I yes, can't imagine she will counter pick here. Oh, I guess so. He might switch to f -Mac. Yeah, I think so. He may not have a lot of invincible reversals. It may be difficult. I see And f -Mac can actually... Seamac uh, is a zoning character. She does she does have good options for getting people out of the air. f -Mac is an extremely degenerate set play character with uh, good range. She has assault rifles. Yeah. This is Seamac. You can I actually lost control in space <laughs> rather we well with the jetpacks and beams. Yeah, so she has a jetpack move in here that she can cancel immediately. And actually, the jetpack is a hitbox. So she can actually TK it to control space. And it's like, well, how do you pump off of that normally? But if it counter hits, then there's more previous right. hit stun. So, and a bit of a drop there. Uh, Target Tibber, I believe, is actually the fastest point third in the game, which is not intuitive at all. Um, she has the 40th jump. And c is actually a very technical character, uh, surprisingly, for you know, a zoner. Really good bait! Oh my gosh. Yeah, c is actually pretty difficult to punish. Yeah, recovers very quickly when she touches the ground. Uh, maybe not top in speed of next normal, so I'm the harder punish. That's side. Yeah, Unfortunate missed up there from Shay. He had the right idea. I think the issue is Shay mainly played in um, NBA C and NBA A. Oh, this this character amazing. did not get added until one of the last versions of Current Code. Oh, Current Code, yeah. Sorry, I think it's Current Code. And actually, the first version of Current Code she was added, she was one of the best characters in the game. She, uh, this combo did, uh, like, 6k. <laughs> Good reversal. Yeah, they didn't have to separate it. Uh, it's pretty difficult here for Shay. Rex does not have good matching options. Your ability to bar is not very good. F tank actually does, but not what we're seeing right now. Yeah. No real reversal options that are activate or arc drive. Oh, that hit! Oh, yeah. Oh, well, oh. it's still in 4K by itself. He's actually going to win this round. Yeah, it drops. He but, doesn't drop it. Yeah. Uh, okay, I there we go. With Mech, you don't have to move forward. Or, uh, with, on Teammate, you don't have to move forward after the air flow. Yeah, so um, it makes that combo a lot easier. It does, because you have to walk forward and then do a 2 6 motion and not hit DP. Uh, I thought Kirk just have to dash forward and then not get a DP out of your body. It's great. Uh, it's a very tight length regardless. Ooh, you'll drop from Melka. Yeah, trying to use a TK jetpack if he may have the air, but she doesn't really need to jump to the neutral. Good fastball. Yeah. He's going to open it from the Yeah. Ooh, good. Hard cancel, he really is trying to... He does get help with heat, so he is going to try to wait out a little bit. Yeah, not very effective against Hime, though, because he's fly away. Yeah, that's the worst. Uh, I don't... Ooh, drop. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can cancel, whiff cancel the pillar to super... with the EX. Yeah. And that's what happened uh, there. This game does have crossover.